Today I'm going to talk about a possibly illegal building technique that I found in an official LEGO set. Um, but first I want to talk about the current LEGO Ideas Challenge. We are uh, asked to build a set uh, inspired by an iconic TV show or film from the 80s. So uh, I was interested in building a, a particular movie that had an escalator in it and I thought, oh, I know, I'll go check out the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Shopping Mall to see how they make use of their uh, new escalator piece, which first came out in 2021. Um, there's actually two versions of this set, both are with the same name, um, both of which have escalators in them. Um, but I'm looking specifically at the 2021 version. I haven't looked at the most recent version uh, to see if they use the same technique, although I expect they do. So let's look at the construction of this escalator. Now the base of the escalator uh, is four and a half studs wide um, or 90 LDU if you do uh, Lego CAD, you're probably familiar with uh, L draw units. Um, in real world physical measurements, this is about 36 millimeters. The height of the escalator's uh, kind of core structural triangle is 80 LDU. Um, that's 10 plates um, or 32 millimeters. Now, if we apply the Pythagorean theorem, um, you can see the equation up here. You don't really need to follow the math if you don't know the Pythagorean theorem. Um, but this comes out to 6.02 studs, um, or about 48.17 millimeters. We're going to look at a couple slides from a uh, presentation called Stressing the Elements that uh, Brickmaster Jamie uh, showed, I think, in 2006. Um, but these slides are uh, kind of well known by the LEGO community and are circulating on the internet. So you can find them yourself if you want to uh, confirm these numbers. So one um, technique that is not allowed uh, is placing a brick uh, in a snot position um, using a headlight so that it is resting on the top of a solid stud. Um, and that is because solid studs have the word Lego uh, embossed on the top. Um, and this increases the height of the stud by 0.14 millimeters. Um, and this extra height causes the stud um, to push the yellow brick up um, so that it's not perfectly flush uh, with the top of the red brick, um, thereby stressing other pieces pressed on top of it um, or potentially, you know, deforming the stud below. Um, another uh, incompatibility um, in kind of the LEGO building system, possibly the most famous one, is that uh, system and Technic bricks are not completely compatible. The center point for the stud on the side of a system brick uh, is 3.92 millimeters from the top of the brick, where the center point for the hole in the side of a classic Technic brick is 3.8 millimeters from the top of the brick. Um, there's kind of a long uh, explanation for why this is needed, um, but what that means is that if you attach a Technic brick, if you use a Technic brick and a uh, standard snot brick, uh, mixed together for doing snot, you end up with parts that are not quite uh, flush and can stick up above the top of the brick. Overall, we see that uh, Technic snot versus system snot, the error there uh, that you know deviates from uh, the allowable measurements is about 0.12 millimeters. Um, when we have a brick that's a snot brick that's being pushed up by the embossed Lego logo, that's about 0.14 millimeters. Uh, and the mismatch in the length of our escalator between the uh, edge length that we calculate with uh, the Pythagorean theorem and the brick that we're actually trying to stuff in there uh, is 0.17 millimeters, which is actually the largest of these three measurements. So we might now be asking ourselves, why are the first two illegal, uh, but the third one is allowed and apparently in use in uh, at least one, probably two official Lego sets. And this difference is not just theoretical. If we put this together ourselves in a uh, Lego CAD software, um, we can actually see that the uh, axle that we want to push through that inner Technic hole um, is offset um, and overlaps uh, with the white Technic uh, brick uh, that we have for the outer hole. 
um, and you can actually see the inner wall of that blue brick sticking through um, the white brick. How does this end up being legal? Well, the axle uh, itself probably has to be just a little smidge smaller um, than the hole um, because axles turn smoothly in their hole um, where a stud or uh, certain types of Technic pins stick firmly. So if you look again, the difference here is pretty minute, uh, but if you shrink the axle by just a little bit, you end up getting a little bit of wiggle room um, and the differences between those two holes, even though they're not precisely lined up and you could get something that theoretically fits into both of them. Now, we don't actually know how much smaller an axle is. I don't think that's documented anywhere. Um, if somebody had a high precision set of digital calipers, they could measure that and post it. Um, but for right now, uh, I don't have access to those measurements. Um, but another question is why do we care about this? It's you know such a small amount, 0.17 millimeters. Um, you know, how valuable can that be? Is this just nitpicking? Lego designers who you know clearly did a very good job, uh, you know, a very clever job getting that escalator mechanism to work. Um, but as of right now, the only triangles that we can build, you know, in system using standard Lego bricks uh, are triangles whose edge lengths uh, form what's called a Pythagorean triple. And what that means is that each of the three edge lengths uh, are a whole number. And this is pretty limiting if you've ever tried to build. Uh, you know, triangles into your uh, Lego sets, you've probably run into these restrictions before. The triangle that we have here for the escalator actually fills a very interesting um, gap in that space of triangles. It's actually almost a perfect 45 degree angle. It's about 43 degrees. Um, and its edge length is very, very, very close to a whole number, you know, less than, you know, 5% error uh, from being a whole number. Uh, and so if we knew how much the uh, difference in the diameter of the axle from the difference uh, of the diameter of the axle hole was, um, we could use that to construct more interesting triangles um, and build a lot of sets or a lot of uh, structures that are currently not possible. Um, I just wanna highlight credits for a few of the graphics that show up here. Um, you can find the Pythagorean triples uh, illustration in particular on Wikipedia. The other things you can either find on Google uh, by typing them in yourself um, or by you know, browsing the Lego website.